Hey there everybody, Eric from Outer Limitless coming at you today with another video. So today's video is very straightforward. I'm going to be doing a little bit of gear maintenance today and I have a product from the company Sawyer. Now this is a permethrin spray and it's basically a spray that you can use to treat your different garments. Now these are items that I'm going to use in the early spring so I thought it would make sense to get the spray on these and treat them to help me keep things such as mosquitoes and ticks away from me. Now with that said, I already have treated these and I thought I'd give you a real quick look at these and then I'll roll in some footage of me actually treating them so that you can kind of see what it was like. Now I wanted to show you these garments so that you can see that it does not do any damage to any of the fabric. The spray goes on nice and even and basically dries uh, completely invisible so it doesn't do any damage to the fabric, doesn't leave any weird stains or anything like that. And so you can feel pretty confident when you treat your clothes that they're going to be okay and you're not going to do any sort of damage. Now same thing with the boots. I have also treated these boots. I basically look at it as a first line of defense. Kind of all the things that are the lowest to the ground such as uh, the lower cuffs of your pants basically from your knees down and also the boots. So trying to create a barrier that keeps the bugs away. Now Sawyer makes a lot of great products not just this permethrin spray. I have used their insecticides and also their filter systems all of which have been great and I've used this permethrin. I've had this for a couple of years now. Um, it's getting a little bit low at this point but I still have a couple of treatments left in it and it's worked extremely well at least from what I can tell so overall I've been very happy with soya products and I can say I definitely recommend them now permethrin is non-toxic uh, however it can be absorbed by the skin and your body will start to break it down so it is not meant to be used um, as a an insect repellent on your skin or on your body basically just a treatment for your garments so um, you would have to use this in conjunction with another spray if you wanted to actually put it on your body and Sawyer does have other insecticides and I would say that they are excellent quality and overall one of the better working products that I have used. Now protecting myself from bugs is extremely important. Um, as somebody who has had Lyme disease and I'm still suffering from it, um, I have to stress the importance to take care of yourself and make sure you're protecting yourself against bugs. Now it just takes one little bite from an infected tick with Lyme disease to really cause a world of trouble. I have been dealing with it for over four years now and it took so long to figure out that I had it. I basically went two complete years untreated. So completely completely cause a lot of havoc. Now I have been doing pretty good all all in all. I've been really kind of rebounding and I've uh, been able to manage it but it comes with a lot of hard work, a lot of effort and a lot of money and specialty uh, doctors. So um, it, I can't stress enough how important it is to really protect yourself and such a simple thing as treating your clothing can go a long long way. So if you'd like to see what it took to get these garments treated, do me a favor. Stay tuned. So here I have my permethrin spray. I'm going to be treating my Vita Pro trousers from Fall Raven. Now I've treated these a number of times uh, but it's been a long time and I'm fairly certain that uh, this kind of has either a number of washes and it says basically effective through six washes but then also sort of like a time frame uh, for which this becomes a little bit inactive and so um, I do not wash my Vita Pro trousers all that often uh, really only when they get super grimy or soaking wet um, and you know for me with my outdoor gear it's kind of like I don't know it's just made to wear it and it's dirty and whatever so unless it gets super grimy I don't wash these all too often but at this point I feel as though you know I'm coming into the tick season and I really want to make sure that these are well protected to help me to basically just keep the bugs off me if I can so anyway I'm going to essentially just spray these and really give them a good soaking now I'm out in the garage because this stuff's gonna drip all over the place and I don't want to allow it onto anything that I'm really uh, you know uh, concerned about so it's just gonna kind of drip onto the ground here and eventually dry 
And then the other thing, I'm also going to treat my boots because that to me is kind of like a first line of defense. So I'm not sure how it's going to work on these, how good it's going to go. I just recently treated these with beeswax, so they are quite water resistant. So I suspect that this stuff is probably going to beat up just a little bit and probably sit right on the surface and not really penetrate at all. Um, but certainly with these Vita Pro trousers, they are going to be completely doused and... Uh, it really does work pretty well. I've done this a number of times. Like I mentioned, I've done this in the past, and uh, it has worked quite well. So at this point, spray these things down and uh, get them treated. So this thing says to shake it well, which I will. Now this has two different nozzle patterns, so a spray and a stream. I tend to use the spray because I'd rather kind of mist it all over these versus streaming it onto them. So anyway... Probably not the best to inhale this, so as long as I stand back a little bit. Now the Vita Pro trousers, you do have the ability to wax them, which I have done. So I do have a video on me waxing these. However, at this point, the wax has pretty much worn off and been washed out of them. So um, this stuff is pretty much just soaking into the fabric, which is good. Um, you know, I think you're supposed to pretty much avoid contact with your skin. So obviously, you know, this has the potential to rub up against my legs. However, I can tell you that I am going to be wearing uh, some thermals with these for the first few times I have this out in the field because I am going to be using these uh, very soon on a winter hike. And so, um, you know, I will have thermals to kind of protect my skin just a little bit. spray bottle is definitely giving me trouble. What a pain in the butt. I and mean, there's plenty of product in here and it's not working great. I mean at this point I gotta mess around with this thing so hold on. So it figures right in the middle of this demo my sprayer crapped out on me. So I found a replacement sprayer head for this and I think it's pretty much seated on there so hopefully I don't drop this in the middle of doing this but I'm going to keep going here and finish off these pants. But what I was trying to say is that the bottom of the pants is really one of the most important spots because obviously that's where you're going to start to generate your bug issue. And then, you know, depending on what kind of brush you're going through and working all the way up here. I mean, I do the entire thing and I really give these a good soaking and, uh, you know, try to really get this stuff to penetrate the fabric. You can see there it is good and wet. So... Anyway, I'm just going to continue to work my way through these, and you can see a little bit of it is kind of beating and running off. That's remnants of the uh, wax there. But uh, overall, this is definitely taking to the fabric, and uh, I'm just going to finish coating these, and then I'll move on to the boots. So now these are done, and I'll just leave them here to dry, and I'm going to try out my boots. So spraying this on here I might actually refine my pattern just a little bit and I can see it's very much beating up but it's all right you know it's just to get these things kind of coated so again just being sort of that first line of defense I want to make sure that nothing's clinging onto my boots and working its way up my pant legs and certainly up into my socks and I typically at this time of year coming into the spring will start to wear long socks and make sure that I'm good and well protected so it's really, for me, where I've had uh, tick-borne illnesses, um, it's pretty important and I try to take it seriously. So anyway, hopefully this stuff stays on there. I mean, it's not really soaking into the leather at all, but that's because they're good and water treated. Uh, but at this point, they are completely covered. So I'm going to go wash my hands and make sure I have no more of this stuff on my skin. I probably could have worn gloves, but I don't know. Typical man. 
So all right guys, there you have it. A real quick video showing you how to treat your clothes with Sawyer Permethrin Spray. Now there are other companies out there, but as I mentioned, I've been very happy with the Sawyer products, not only in their Permethrin Spray, but their bug sprays, general insecticides, and also their water purification systems. So an excellent company with high standards, and overall I can definitely say I highly recommend them. So all right guys, thanks for stopping by. I hope you like what you saw. I hope you found it a little bit informative. If you like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Take care now. I'll see you soon.